position. It's calling him forward. Biang's going to be under pressure. Does he get away from this? He does. Steps forward, finds one big trade. He and I in the back. Takes down Son. It's on three. Make it two. Victor and Crashies. Oh, it's only Victor. The truly unthinkable might just be happening. And it has. It's been 614 days since NRG crashed out in a group stage. And we got to witness it here against Billy. So recently, Sam and FNS just came to LA. We had a nice team dinner just to catch up, uh, get the vibes right, and just before this first practice starts, just make sure everyone kind of knows what they're here for and obviously do a bit of content. Um, feels good to be back. Just the fact that I'm joining this team with people that I've already played with, with my real life friends who I've been close to for a very long time. That kind of cohesion is huge for us. <laughs> Reuniting with some former teammates, uh, we skipped some steps with like gaining chemistry and like ice breaking and stuff like that. Everyone on this team has either been teammates prior or has just been friends before. It definitely helps, especially when you're in a time crunch. Uh, it, it helps when you don't have to build chemistry from the ground up. Okay, if I can't beat this, I think I might leave the team. Don't get nervous. Okay. I think you already beat my score. <laughs> yep, that's it. I mean, team camp for this one is, this iteration of this roster is pretty easy because, well, we already all been teammates and all of us have been teammates with Ethan, like me, FNS, and Sam uh, in the past and I've been teammates with them for a long time. So on top of that, we're just all already friends with each other. So whenever we like hop off practice, we go to Discord and we just talk, all six of us. So it's like practice never ended, you know? Like everyone's like, encouraging each other to be like better and I feel like that makes a big difference. Obviously it's like a great feeling because I always know outside of the game me and everyone else already has chemistry. Um, it helps that I'm so close with them and I've been teammates with them before but um, yeah I'm, I'm excited. I think Sam and Pujan have entered into a different version of Valorant that they weren't expecting. Like there's some teams that may not seem so good on paper but they're actually like pretty decent and we got to scrim against a few of those and you know, it's like kind of like humbling that you can't just come back and just like roll over everyone. I feel like the game's only changed in a sense that people have just gotten better and better, which was expected. I think the skill level from a lot of these teams, especially individually, is just increased exponentially. I feel like the field has definitely evened out more. I think this last split that just passed by, everyone's had different goals in mind. And I feel like this time around, everyone kind of has the same feeling and like the same level of like, the level of work that is required. Sam and Pujan were also the ones who suggested to just not do any off days, which everyone was down for. I feel it's very important for us to get off to a strong start and keep that momentum rolling. Um, if we struggle right from the beginning, it's going to be tougher and tougher and tougher. And I think the biggest thing is just hard work, putting in 10, 12 hours a day without anybody questioning it and making sure that we're outworking everybody else. And I think if we're able to do that, then we'll have a competitive run this time around. I've been playing rank like 12 hours every single day. So I think like mechanically, I'm not behind. I guess the only thing right now for me is just kind of reps on my role. Scrims are for that exact reason. So I think it'll take time but I don't need much of it. For this iteration of the roster, obviously FNS is going to be stepping back into the IGL role for us. FNS will be IGLing now. When you have someone like FNS who is just naturally made to IGL, that means for me, I'll be going back to my original role. Ethan is gonna stay on the role that he excels the best on, which I think is initiator. So he's gonna be initiator supporting, but he's also gonna be throwing in a couple of new things that will keep us surprises for now. Hopefully this change like activates everyone. Going into it, we're really confident. Uh, we can pick up where we left off and I think it'll be good. Connor, walk into the room that you're gonna be leading them into. Holy yeah, yeah, yeah. Dog. Holy Holy shit. This is Katsu, it's Katsu. Yeah, it's literally everywhere. Alright, boys. We all got Cecil here. Gifts as well. 
shoes for all of you guys too. Oh, yeah. So it's all under your name. Everyone has their name here associated, except for Finesse, unfortunately. Yours is a blank jersey. <laughs> so Finesse, yours, we don't have your name on your jersey. Oh, so it's common, but yours is over here. Your, your top one's over here, brother. This is a first for me, actually. I never designed a jersey from production to management to everything. So I would say the idea with the texture itself, the gray on gray, the black on black, just for one, feels wearable. I wanted to make sure you guys had something you guys can wear. Pretty much, if you guys just weren't going to an eSports event, I think that's pretty important. Of course, energy, noise kind of goes hand to hand. I had to use a nice cool little urban noise texture. And then with that, I mean the orange, it made sense. I feel like it was the first for energy to actually have orange on the jersey. Only hit on that besides the also the really cool tag. Besides that though, I think, I mean, the, the joggers are also really nice. They're comfortable. If we ever put them off for sale, gotta get it. These are insane. These feel like crazy. Yeah, pretty nice. I think the good, uh, there's like a good pop with the orange. It's kind of like jokes, but like, it's, it's kind of a thing where it's aura. Well, depending on how your jersey is, but uh, yeah, this one's nice. It's gonna roll no matter what, so we can kind of start like now, right? Yeah, yeah. So just kind of like, yeah, yeah like, action. <laughs> So this split, uh, it's a little different from last one. Last split, um, we play we play a different group of teams. We play Sen, C9, Crew, and G2. Obviously, they're all like pretty strong teams who we have to be looking out for. And like every team is pretty dangerous, so we just can't slack off, and we just have to keep working hard. So starting on split two, it's going to be Breeze out, Haven in. Overall, I'm pretty excited for that change because I enjoy calling on Haven as is, and we were, we were a very strong Haven team last year. And then I think towards the latter end, so as soon as split two ends and we get into playoffs, they are gonna get rid of split and add the new map. And we're about, gonna have maybe a week to prepare for that new map. For the most part, I think most teams in, most teams in our region are very competitive regardless of how they performed the last split, it doesn't really change our focus. Like, we just need to work on ourselves and make sure we're good. The first game we play is versus Sentinels. Um, that's gonna be a banger match off the rip. So the first match we play is against Sentinels, which is always a pleasure. They're a great team. They've only gotten better with the addition of John Cutie, and obviously they've already won a Masters this year, so a threat no matter what. But then again, they do have Jordan, who kind of brings the team down by a large margin, so there's that as well. Um, truthfully, I don't know why he's still on the team. He's much, much better at doing other things. And I'll make sure he, I, rem, I remind him of that when I play. I mean, me and Jordan are friends. We've been friends for a long time, so I know he's messing around. But I'll see you soon, Jordan. I think going to the Sen match, like vibes are always gonna be good because we're just going to the first game with no results. You know, the expectation is just play good and just carry on what we had in practice. Obviously, there's only one event left, which is Champs. Um, this is the big event that you know, everyone's looking forward to. Masters events obviously are nice, but champs is where, you know, champs are made. So um, I'm back on stage. I know a lot of you guys wanted it and a lot of you guys did it, but I made the final decision and I'm here. So come support us. Lastly, to the fans, obviously, I didn't know that I was gonna return as quickly as I did. I didn't know I was gonna return to NRG. If I'm being completely honest, the decision to come back had nothing to do with fans or anything like that. It was just, it's, I just know what's in my heart and I just wanted to play. I still have that fire to play. Last year, we let you down. Hopefully, this year is a different story. We're gonna do everything in our power to make sure that what happened last year doesn't repeat itself. And in general, I just wanna say thank you to you guys for how much effort and time you guys put into watching us play and, and the commitment that you guys have to make sure that, you know, you're watching every single game, whether it's at 3 a.m. in the morning or 3 p.m. in the afternoon, it's whatever. It, you guys put in that time and that means a lot to us, even though we're not always able to vocalize it to you guys individually, it does, it does mean a lot. Buy the energy bundle!